Welcome to Velocitech Control Center 3.0. This video is going to show you how to use this new software to easily download GPS data from a group of GPS devices and then organize that data into race replay animations. This video will also show you how to get replay animations posted online so that anyone with internet access can see them. We've just connected four Velocitech SC1s to this PC through a USB hub. If we look at Velocitech Control Center now, we'll see the icons corresponding to each device appear. Next to each icon, you can see the name of the boat on which the device was mounted. This information was programmed onto the devices before the event. Now that the computer has recognized all the devices we just connected to the USB hub, we're going to download all the data from the day's racing. We're going to click on each one. Highlight all the icons and select download. Now we're prompted to choose the time interval we want to download. We know the racing today took place between noon and about 10 after 3, so we put that in here for the start time and end time and then hit OK. Now Velocitech Control Center is going to start pulling data off devices one by one, and we can now go off and do whatever we want. This is a big step forward compared to downloading from each device one at a time. Once all the data has downloaded from the devices, we click on the Library tab to see all the tracks we just downloaded from the GPS devices. Here are the names of the boats corresponding to each track. We're going to assemble all the individual tracks into a new replay. We'll highlight them all and then click New Replay. And there they are. It was a simple windward lured course. You can see here is the start and finish line, all the boats sailing up and down the line. This is the windward mark. You can see all the boats rounding the mark there. When we're here on the Replay tab, we can zoom in and out by holding down the Control key and scrolling the wheel on the mouse. We can pan by holding down the control key, clicking and dragging. So now we want to find the start of the first race. So we're going to do that by moving the slider here, and we'll see the boats move along the tracks. We can see them here at the beginning, maneuvering around the start line. And then there they go upwind. So the start is somewhere around here. If we look over here in the bottom right corner, we can see the time is around 10 after 12. So we'll go back three minutes before the start when things start to get interesting, about 12.07. Then we'll go up here and click Set Replay Start. Now that's going to cut off all the data that was recorded prior to 12.07 p.m. Now we want to find the end of the first race. This race was just one lap around the windward mark and then back to the finish. You can see those three boats finishing, and then the green boat lags behind a bit, so we'll just wait for the green boat to cross the finish line, and then that's the end of the first race. Now we're going to go click Set Replay End. And there it is. There's the race, and all the extraneous data has been cut off. We can look at this in greater detail with an animated playback in GPS Action Replay by just clicking on this button that says Play with GPS Action Replay. GPS Action Replay is a great piece of software created in France by Jan Mathé. It's not a Velocitech product, but it is bundled for free with Velocitech Control Center. Here's the replay all set up. You can see on the right all the names of the boats are listed. I'm going to give you a few quick tips on how to set up a nice replay in GPS Action Replay. The first thing we can do is set it up so that the view is always focused on the boats, so it looks as though we're in a helicopter that's chasing the fleet. To do that, we highlight all the boat names here and click Center. That centers our view on the boats. We can zoom in a bit too. The other thing I want to do is make it so that these trajectory lines are only visible in the immediate neighborhood of the boats and not extending all over the place. With all the boat names highlighted under the trajectories heading, we hit the radio button next to neighborhood instead of full. Now as you can see here, there are only tracks in the neighborhood of the boats. 
I'm going to crank the speed up to 66 times real time and hit the play button. There's the start. You can see the boats tacking upwind. And rounding the windward mark. And going back down again. If you want to see the speed of each boat listed next to it, you can go in the dynamic view menu and tick speed in knots. Now you can see the speed of each boat listed next to it. So that's GPS action replay. That replay will just keep on looping when it gets to the end. There's a lot more cool stuff you can do with GPS action replay. To figure it all out, you can go to gpsactionreplay.com and download the full manual for this program. Now let's go back to Velocitech Control Center and I'll show you how you can get this replay animation posted online so anyone can see it using a standard web browser. First let's save this race that we've defined. Click on Save As and give the race a name. We'll call it LYC May Regatta Race 1. Now we'll open up Windows Explorer to show you where the file gets saved by default. It's in Documents under Velocitech and Replays. This is Windows Vista you're looking at. In XP, it will be under My Documents, Velocitech, Replays. At Velocitech, we've started a really cool online replay program where you can email any Velocitech replay file containing four or more boats to replays at Velocitech.com, along with the event details, and we'll put an animated replay of your race on the Velocitech forum. This will allow anyone with an internet connection to view the replay and comment on it. This event at the Lahaina Yacht Club on Maui that we were using as an example is already online. We can go